Welcome back. So the 1940s, it was an iconic era in American history and a new book called Film Noir Style takes a look at the film and art of that time. I spoke with Yakima native and author Kimberly Truler. Film noir is a little different from other genres like westerns or musicals, which you can easily categorize. Um, so some of the book gets into the debate of what's noir or not. I think some common characteristics of it are that there's a lot of them that are based on crime fiction. So there's often a private eye in the center of it. There's usually a, a woman who's causing trouble in one way, shape, or form, uh, but they are all strong women, and they are not necessarily always femme fatales, which I get into in the book as well. But some of the trademarks of the style, of course, are the, you know, the shadowy cinematography. Mm -hmm. This book just delves into all the style. Even when there's murder going on, it's all done very stylishly. <laughs> it, it is very stylistic, the way that they shot those scenes, so much of it um, to see, and it's, it's repeated today even still. What makes this era so special and interesting to you? I actually grew up in Yakima, Washington, so <laughs> this is a little bit of a homecoming for me. My father was a police officer there, and so one of his favorite things was to come home in the middle of the night and watch noir, and we read a lot of Dashiell Hammond and Raymond Chandler upon a lot of noir is based. So this was my introduction to classic cinema as a child. So it's always been passionate to me. I study each of the eras and I plan to write books on each of the eras, but this is the one that has a, a real soft spot in my heart. I, I just love the style of it all. I cannot wait to, to delve in more. So let's just jump in. What are some of the favorite images you have in this book? Well, I think those who love noir or who just love the style of noir, something like Rita Hayworth and Gilda. I mean, it's just a spectacular wardrobe from beginning to end. And it's something that is still so influential on fashion, uh, which is something that I go into even more in the events that I do, which are now online thanks to the pandemic. Yes. But it's something that I, I, I connect the dots between these classic movies and the fashion that continues to be popular. I'm sure, you know, we're in the midst of another shoulder pad trend and the yes. power trend. And it's like, this is the origin <laughs> for, for all of this, this era, all the suiting from this era. That is such a good point, and, and it really was those strong women that defined the characters in these films. Are there any specific actresses or pictures that, that you really wanted to highlight? Well, Veronica Lake, I mean, we all love Veronica Lake. Yeah. Whether you've seen a movie by <laughs> with Veronica Lake, everybody knows her. I mean, that hairstyle is another thing that it comes up on the red carpets all the time. Yeah. Um, so yeah. her style in this gun for hire is extraordinary. Ava Gardner in the killers with the one strap gown, that oh. is extraordinary. Lana Turner in her practically all white wardrobe. I mean, just so gorgeous. So this era is just packed with these strong women, but who are just so incredibly stylish. My grandmother and I were just watching The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, which is... Uh, oh, Tierney. Oh, it's such a great movie. And it still holds today, which I love. But do you have any film noir recommendations that, that we have to see? Well, from the standpoint of noir, something like The Maltese Falcon is kind of a must-see. Um, yeah. It's just a benchmark. But The Big Sleep is, you know, that bogart Bacall mm -hmm. dynamic and the, the solidification of their style. That's one that I grew up with, but it's still one that's, you know, I, I have noir in rotation. And that <laughs> one is in heavy rotation, along with Out of the Past, which is a noir that I came to more as an adult, but it's so good. And Jane Greer is such a good femme fatale in that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Such a great book. It's beautiful too. It's a, more of a coffee table book if you're interested. Well, Super Bowl, can you believe it? Just a few days away and up next, we are checking in with our friend, Mr. Terry Holloman about 
how the game is going to be a little bit different this year. The Hawks may not be in it, but he is still representing. We'll be right back.